Well, tonight, the Bakersfield Planning Commission approved a more than $2 million bicycle transportation plan. That paves the way for the city to vote on the proposed plan in November. And 23 ABC's Amanda Gomez joins us now live from downtown Bakersfield with how that plan will make our roadways safer for bicyclists. Bicyclists, Amanda? I'm at the intersection of Truxton Avenue and Oak Street, and you can see the bike lane behind me here narrow, not a lot of room, and it's a very busy intersection. Bike lists say this is just one of the many areas that's simply too dangerous for them, and they're hoping the plan will change that. Most of our bike lanes are on fast, high-speed arterials, and people don't want to ride on them. They don't feel safe. Uh, it doesn't encourage people to get out and ride. Uh, ultimately, you see a, a very small portion of people biking. But Jason Cater, executive director of Bike Bakersfield, says the new bicycle transportation plan will help riders feel more comfortable on the streets. It's a plan for better infrastructure. The goal is to create a network of bike paths, bike lanes, boulevards, and routes that are in safer areas. There's been a lot of deaths actually this year. We've had a, a really bad year as far as pedestrian and bicyclist uh, incidents with automobiles. We're trying to protect the people from getting hit by cars. So uh, I think it's long overdue. The plan comes with a $2.1 million price tag. If the council approves it, the city will apply for grants as well as use other state and federal funding opportunities. Bike Bakersfield worked with the city to develop the plan, and Cater says approval from the Planning Commission is a huge win for them. We've advocated for this plan for years, and so we're excited to see it kind of coming down to the final stages and ready for it to get past and, and go to work on it. I think it's a positive step when we can um, you know look forward to uh, you know building more class A bike lanes and helping bikes and cars share the road and making our city a better community. A bicyclist was killed in Northwest Bakersfield just a couple of days ago and supporters of the plan hope it will prevent future accidents. Reporting live in downtown Bakersfield, Amanda Gomez, 23 ABC.